Hey, what's up, speaker files? Willington here with another giant speaker. Now, the magic to this one is the fact that it's really, really advertised as a floating speaker. So, for people who are into pool parties or beach parties or stuff like that, like if you're into wetness, like wet stuff um, 24 hours play time 8 inch woofers in there with a peak power of up to 400 watts but that's peak power i'm not sure what like the constant um power running power is you can sync up to two speakers to play together in stereo mode also i know they make other stuff like dj controllers and other bunches of other speakers that they've been making for quite some time so if you're interested in seeing more of that stuff on the channel let me know in the comment section below. We maybe we can keep up. We can pick up more speakers from them. Your charging brick, so you can charge it with a 12 volt battery. That is pretty cool. And then this is the warranty and user info in there. That's how the inside looks like. And there we go, guys. Got a light right here and it got lights all over it. Eight inch. They got your three tweeters right here, one here, one here, and one here. So if you're standing like this, the two would be playing stereo right and left. And then if you lay it sideways, left, right. So this is an interesting setup they have right here. As you can see, these are cup holders right here. And if you'll still like play music and keep this like when it floats, does it stay like that? Okay, so that's something I'm gonna try out, I feel like, but I'm not gonna be getting in the water. I'm not up to freezing my butt. If you spill water in here, like it has somewhere to go. See that? All right, so that's cool. Your handle, your cup holders with a little thing to get the spills off of there and two giant passive radiators so most speakers usually would only have like a best port in the back for you know best uh but this one went with best um with uh passive radiators probably most likely most definitely because it's a, a water speaker it's meant to be brought out there to play music in the pool in the lake in whatever you know what i mean and so they cannot put a best pot on here because water will go down in there as soon as you drop it in the lake or whatever okay so this doesn't need that's pretty cool that it still hangs there so you, it's not easy to lose so when you put it in then you turn it to seal it so you have to make sure it's turned and then you do that to open up the ports back here. It has a storage spot back here. So you can put like your wallet, um, stuff that you don't want to get wet in here and then seal it up. Man, I might bring this thing. Uh, uh, we usually go and do a tubing like on the river, like float on the river. I think I might bring this thing this summer. Just try it out. I just like that it has a, a storage spot right there for like keeping stuff in there. That's pretty cool. And then um, in here, uh, just right below the storage area com or compartment, you have a USB port there to charge your stuff, an aux input and a charging port. So that is, that's pretty cool. I like the storage spot. So. This is basically literally made for you to bring with you on the water and just not worry about anything. That is cool. So, <laughs> that's awesome. All right. But I guess, how does it sound? Let's try. How does it sound? That's usually another important thing. So, I'm gonna turn it on. Connected. So just tap there on NFC and you are good to go.
it going? My day is going great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, you're damn right. Okay, so as far as buttons, this is what I've learned. This is for enhancing bass. That's what I've learned. This is obviously Google Assistant, that microphone right there. And then this little guy right here is for the lights. So that is for changing different modes of the strobe light, the one in the center. And then this one here is for different light modes of the lights that go around the main drivers, just like that. And when you hold both the plus and minus button, you can change, uh, I believe, colors of the lights like that. And then this is for linking up to within up with another uh, another one of the same speaker using that button. And then this is obviously Bluetooth pairing. This is on and off. The only thing I can find is pause and play music. And I don't think they give you that option on the speaker. Very, very big miss. That's annoying. That is annoying for me to have to pick up my phone to pause the music. If someone comes up and starts talking to me, I have to like look, reach for my phone, let's like say I put it in the back here, or I left it on the shore. Like I, <laughs> come on guys. Okay, so before I give you the sound sample, I took the speaker out to the swimming pool to see how it does with water and right off the bat, I was impressed. This thing is impossible to sink. You can probably even use it as a floaty. The cup holders stay upright as it floats, so unless the water is really, really wavy um, and people are just being crazy in the water, your drinks will be nice and safe in there without a problem. I also tested out the storage compartment back here by putting a piece of toilet paper in it, sealing it and putting the speaker in water and I was impressed by the results. So this thing is pretty dope. Okay, so here is the sound sample of the speakers and like I said, I will be comparing it to the Party Box 110. As usual, I will be using a high quality binaural microphone. So for the best experience, please use headphones. With that said, let's hear the speakers speak.
buscar Como tú lo mueves a papam pam Haciendo locura en la mañana Si alguien te pregunta no apasiona Solo me hiciste en mi cama So the speaker gets really loud in comparison to the 110 and I also think that at maximum volume with both speakers at maximum volume this guy sounds better than the 110 but the one thing that the 110 that actually I feel like I should have it here Anyways, the one thing that the 110 can't be beat at is at best performance. As you heard in those first few songs, um, it just it just sounds way richer in its best in comparison to what is coming out of the Gemini right here. The one thing that really, really stood out to me about the Gemini is how it handles mids and vocals in particular. They just sound pretty good. The way it's tuned, the way it's designed is all in the outdoor setting because those are the areas where you would usually want to cut down on bass in exchange for loudness and more reach, you know, outdoors is something like that and i think that's exactly what they did with the gemini right here between the two speakers you know you can use this outdoors it sounds fine if you're a bass lover i think this will still be good um the only thing is that this is really 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 designed towards that you can drop drop it in the water in the lake river whatever and it's just fine you have a storage spot it's it's just designed for that and you won't you wouldn't have to worry about anything with it um i don't like that it, they don't have a play and pause button here uh but that's it that's it from me today on the speaker let me know if you want to see more stuff from this company and we'll uh we'll get that stuff here and yeah thank you for watching i will see you guys in the next video peace